Hello everyone and welcome to Power Playground. This is your host Michael and today we are going to be finishing the LED arch light here. Now as you can see I've got two new tables from Ikea so now we're ready to go. Now first off what we want to do is we want to go ahead and drill the legs to the base with some screws so I'm going to go ahead and cut to that real quick. <music> So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and wire up the LEDs. Now we're going to go ahead and just pre-wire these LED lights here. So um, a tip on these, there is a little scissor icon right at the end here. If you do cut these LED strips, please only cut them at the designated cutting areas. Usually it's next to these little copper contacts where you can solder in something. So otherwise you will ruin the circuit and you'll have to cut, in, you'll have to cut back a bit and waste some LEDs. So if I'm just going to use my razor blade to gingerly cut off this plastic coating, I'm just going to have to grip it down and be careful because it is quite malleable and really tricky to cut off without slicing. You don't want to slice through all the way and cut the board or else you got to cut off another section and do it over. There we go. Clean. You just got to kind of press it down mostly. That's what the method I recommend doing. So now we're left with two contacts and there's a plus and a minus. Now I'm going to reach for my bucket of scrap wires. I'm gonna grab some decent gauge wires, nothing too thin. I don't need anything too long, so these will do just fine. Get our wire strippers, cut some little leads on them. That's way too big, but it's all right. I kind of like doing it on these, on these scrap wires because there's usually a bit of oxidation at the ends anyway. Yeah, those look pretty good. Twist the buggers, get your snips. Those are crap, so I'm gonna get the other ones. I just need to chuck those, they're five bucks. I already tinned every, all the wires here, it's ready to go. I have this uh, little grippy hands thing, which I have a heat shrink on to save the actual solder joints. I have it on the end of it here, or where the, uh, where the little cut strip is, where the LEDs aren't, or the resistors aren't, just so I don't damage those, so. so there we go. Okay, that's still a little too long. Yeah, you, sh you don't want these leads to be too long just because I don't want it to have any chance of pulling off. Yeah, I'm not even adding any solder once I tin everything, especially with something this small. Okay, boom, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do, fire up our uh, hot glue gun. I'm going to hot glue this guy. Okay, so loop our heat shrink through. Glue dries pretty quick. And then try not to obstruct that LED. And then just use a lighter. Again, you can use a heat gun, which I have, but I just don't use because I don't know, it kind of puts out a bit too much heat for small electronics like this. Kind of worried. We're just gonna leave it like this for now because we have to loop it through this uh, one of these legs here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and loop these two wires through one of these through the holes in this leg base. So there we go. Got that started and wired. All right, gotta move quick here, folks. This thing's kind of a bit unstable currently, so. What I need to do is I need to scrape some glue off of the arch here. There's just some between these joints where the LED goes. So I'm gonna first, before I do anything, I'm gonna need to move stuff around so I can just uh, get everything set up for this. Cause I'm just gonna go ahead and set up the bases. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and glue the bases to this here. Starting with this one, just putting glue everywhere, but where the actual LED channel goes. So I just have to hold it in place here because I glued all around the edges. Apply a bit of glue around everywhere, but where the LED lights go so I can position those correctly. And then stick it. Now it's time to go ahead and glue the LED strip to the actual pole here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here real quick. I'm just gonna do a little dab of hot glue every once in a while a few inches or so.
Ta-da! All right, folks, as you can plainly see here, the LED arch light is pretty much finished. I've lined it up properly on the desk. I have stuck it down with some sticky tack on one side, the vice grip on the other. Now what I need to do is just wire it up. Right now I just have this AC adapter that has this little connector lead on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Get our wire strippers back out. So I'm just screwing her in. there folks as you can see the lamp is done looks amazing has a decent bit of light will be awesome for doing all sorts of cool little projects and whatnot underneath it there and it i don't know it just looks plain old cool so i just want to thank you all for watching here if you like the video go ahead and hit that like button consider subscribing if you haven't already and check out some of these other videos i think they're up on this side maybe this side i forget which one I always get it flipped around but have a good day Thank you.